So, my name is Dan Brooks. I'm uh, the leadership candidate for the BC Conservative Party. I'd like to begin by telling you a little bit about myself so that we can become uh, fast conservative friends. I originally was born in Vanderhoof. My parents came from Alberta, moved to Vanderhoof to buy a wilderness resort, which they thought was kind of romantic. And as a result, I am, was born in Vanderhoof. My family's had that since 1975. In the process of time, my grandfather passed away and we moved back to Alberta when I was about eight years old. And from the time between eight and 18, I lived in Alberta, raised on a farm which my father had specifically for my benefit. So I was raised milk and a cow because I needed a cow, not because we needed any milk. So I was, I was kind of came from this farm background of hard work and being able to uh, understand that you gotta really put your nose to the grindstone. When I became an adult, I went to the University of Alberta in honors mathematical science which I had some aptitude in, and very quickly discovered that although I was good at it, I wasn't particularly passionate about it. And I didn't find it to be the love of my life. So I subsequently changed courses and went from math into classical studies. And they don't connect very well. <laughs> so I have a degree in Greek and, Roman, uh, stu Greek and Roman studies, classical history, which I am passionate about. I love history. I think history is politics, and I think politics is history. And here as BC Conservatives, we're here to make history here tonight. And I think when the time comes, we're going to write books on the history of the BC Conservative Party. I want to play a big role in that. I subsequently, uh, in order to pursue my education, I actually, we had the resort. It had been in kind of disrepair. And in order to pay for my education, I took over the resort from my folks and just said, let me run this thing and see what I can do with it. I then expanded that business to five times its original size built an entire new infrastructure and such, and was actually living the dream. I mean, we had a wilderness resort in northern British Columbia. How much better can it get in BC? Well, maybe you islanders have some things on us, but <laughs> the weather for sure. But I was, I was living the dream and thought life was just wonderful and very passive politically. I've always been a true-blooded conservative, blue-blooded conservative. But then the liberals got involved in my business and at the stroke of a pen, I lost 40% of my business. And I said, I can't just sit back and watch this happen. I have to be involved. 